A trip to the East Texas Oil Museum is a great way to learn more about this unusual era in Texas history. The East Texas Oil Museum offers several exhibits that tell the history of the East Texas oil field and talk a little more about the area geology. The Boomtown Cinema offers a 20-minute interactive video that includes authentic footage from the period. Across the way in the Gladewater Museum is the elevator ride to the center of the earth, an interactive geology exhibit that features Professor Rockbottom and his friend Hank can take a ride with them down to the formation that is responsible for the East Texas oil field. So come on. The oil can't escape because under the water pressured oil sand, which we call the pay, because it does, <laughs> are the hard, dense, deeper watered Washita limestones. Keep in mind that most people that visit the museum don't have a degree in geology or petroleum engineering. And that's the uh, beauty and uniqueness of this museum. It's a teaching facility. Oh, they're at it again. Look now. You better get out of here. Come on, fast. Where are we going to go? Come, come, to the come, come on. Let's go to the surface. Right oh, oh, oh. oh, we're going up. Through much of 1931, it seemed everyone wanted a piece of this mammoth reservoir of black gold. Oil man H.L. Hunt, who purchased Joiner's leases in the area, helped to turn East Texas into an economic success, and in part helped build the cities of Longview, Tyler, and Dallas. H.L. Hunt, uh, in my opinion, was, really was the father of the modern Texas, or now national, oil industry with what he did in East Texas. Today, a special room in the East Texas Oil Museum commemorates the accomplishments of this famous Texan and his effects on the local petroleum history. Not all of the museum is dedicated to the bigger-than-life characters of the boom. The Boomtown Room shows dioramas of the life of the average oil worker during the 1930s boom. Kids and adults alike can listen to the actual recordings and see authentic memorabilia from this slice of time. In fact, much of the museum is devoted to the hard-working people who made the boom in Kilgore so rare a time in Texas history. I personally like the Kilgore scene with the mud street and all the old equipment and everything because I can remember when things still look like that around here. Today, after over 50 years of pumping, the oil here in the East Texas oil field no longer flows to the surface on its own, but it's estimated that over one billion barrels of oil still lies quietly in wait below the East Texas surface. 